also is now available uh, worldwide. So we started with North America back at NAB, and now you can buy or rent the camera anywhere in the world. Here at IBC, we introduce uh, Ozo Live. Ozo Live is a solution in order to broadcast live using multiple Ozo. Uh, so fundamentally, you can use uh, multiple Ozo uh, located in different spots uh, during your live event uh, and broadcast using the existing infrastructure uh, so that people can be in different locations during the live event uh, and experience live uh, how it is uh, to be there. Ozo Live is a software uh, system running on reference hardware. It basically takes the OZO signal, which contains the eight cameras and eight microphones, and converts it into a standard 4K broadcast feed that can, that can be fed into a broadcast production. So I'm just going to show some of the uh, features of the OZO Live product um, with a, a live feed here from our OZO in the booth. And this is the interface. It runs on, uh, on a computer. It runs on an on a, um, iPad or really any device at all. So you have a number of configuration settings, uh, frame rate, output format. You can decide what this projection looks like, whether it's mono or stereo. Uh, you can do different uh, uh, Lambert or cube map projections as well. We have a full color correction uh, suite that's built into the system. And then, of course, there's the stitching. Now, the stitching is perhaps uh, the, uh, the most challenging aspect of doing 360 Live. Uh, in particular, stereo stitching uh, is, is very, very uh, challenging. At Ozo, we have two separate stitching pathways. The one that you get in our offline product uses um, sophisticated computational photography techniques. It's quite good, um, but it runs very slowly. It runs about five seconds a frame. Uh, obviously, that won't work for live. So we have a separate pipeline for the live unit, uh, or the live software, that uses um, more, uh, I'd say, conventional stitching techniques uh, of blending and, and focusing and such. Um, but the nice thing is you have a lot of control. If you're a uh, sof uh, sophisticated user of stitching, then you have the ability to control for each seam, not only its locations, but you also have the ability to tune uh, the convergence, being the, the depth at which the scene is perfect. In forward and, and back of that point in depth, uh, the system will, just, will do its best. But if you're not a sophisticated user, you can just hit the auto-tune button. So it's a combination of power and ease of use. Uh, the user cases, of course, are sports, uh, and music as a live event, uh, but emerging and more and more interesting uh, is news. Uh, the reason is uh, not only being there live when something is happening, uh, but in some cases uh, you, you don't know where is happening where. You know, it could be a earthquake uh, or a particular situation uh, where things are happening, but not necessarily is organized uh, where and what and when. And so the reporter can really focus on the story uh, without knowing uh, what is happening where, but just filming uh, and, and taking live uh, the situation uh, as it's happening. Uh, we introduce a new global pricing, uh, so that is now uh, our new price, uh, it's 40,000 euros, so it's more affordable. <laughs> Uh, and of course, uh, the size uh, of Ozo is making uh, the news reporting uh, um, much more uh, available and possible. Also because the camera itself can operate uh, without any, um, any cable or anything. So you can even position there, shoot, run away, and come back later and see what happened.